We have launched so many new features to NX since our last release video on NX 16.0. The team has been hard at work. We've got so many new features, we can't even cover them all, but we're going to highlight all the major ones we've released since NX 16.0. This coincides with our launch of NX 16.5, which is just released today. So go ahead, y'all, and start running your NX migrate commands, get yourself to NX 16.5, and I'll catch you up on all the major new features you're getting. Let's go. All right, so the first major feature we're going to talk about actually comes from the NX community. For a long time, we've supported the mechanism of tagging projects inside of your NX workspace. In the past, these tags have served as metadata for your packages, and they've also been used as a way to specify that certain kinds of packages cannot depend on other kinds of packages via the NX module boundary lint rule. But via this PR, you can also use tags now to filter your task running, both for the NX run many command and for the NX affected command. This should open up a whole new realm of possibilities in terms of grouping your projects together and using NX task running to target those specific projects when running your tasks. Up next is a whole slew of updates to our Next.js support. React server components are here and so is the Next.js app router. Our latest version of NX includes new generators and executors for the latest version of Next.js, as well as updates to our with NX Next.js plugin. This plugin is going to let the Next.js builder find the rest of your packages inside of your NX workspace. And we made sure that this is going to work for both integrated mono repos that are using the Next.js executors we provide, as well as if you're using a package-based approach and just running next dev via a command. There's also a new turbo option to enable the new experimental turbo pack bundler. This will work with your NX serve commands out of the box. We've also launched a new Next.js standalone preset. You can use this preset by running the command npx create NX workspace with the dash dash preset set to Next.js standalone. If you can't remember that, you can just find it in the the interactive prompts when running the npx create nx workspace command. We've also added a couple of videos over the last few weeks showing Next.js development inside of an NX workspace. So be sure to check them out if you haven't already. Up next, we've added a whole bunch of recipes to our NX recipes repository on GitHub. The new recipes include Fastify plus Mongo, Fastify plus Postgres, Fastify plus Redis, Next.js and TRPC, Remix, and Serverless, Fastify, and PlanetScale. Go check it out at github.com slash narwhal slash nx dash recipes. And while we're here, why don't you go ahead and like this video and subscribe to our channel and let us know in the comments if there's any other recipes you want to see or any of the recipes that exist right now that you'd like to see a video of. Up next, it's Angular. Angular has continued their pattern of adding interesting new features in the next Angular major version, Angular 16. NX version 16.1 includes support for this new Angular version, including migration scripts to automatically fix any breaking changes that Angular 16 brings. And in case you missed it, NX now supports all LTS versions of Angular. This means you can update your NX version without necessarily updating your Angular version, which is a great option if you just want to get all the newest stuff from NX without bringing in any changes to your build artifacts that comes from the new major Angular version. Up next is new NX support for Verdashio. Verdashio is an awesome tool that allows you to create your own local registry right here on your own machine as you're developing. This allows you to run your normal publish commands like npm publish and your normal install commands like npm install, but rather than going to your normal central registry, these commands will interact with your locally running Verdashio instance. This new NX support includes a new generator to set up Verdashio for you, and once you've set things up, you can start your own Verdashio instance simply by running the command NX local registry. I'm really excited for this one. We're already using this inside of the NX repo itself, and it's a lot better than what we had been doing in the past. And this should be an excellent tool for any NX user that's publishing their own package so that they can dry run the publishing and installing their packages without ever having to go to a central registry. Up next is a new feature we added to NX to allow you to create your own CLI tool. In the past, we've supported what we've called presets, which is a modifier you can use on the create NX workspace command. For example, the QuickNX project supported a way of creating a new Quick workspace using a QuickNX preset. However, we really didn't want to brand these things as being an NX workspace. Rather, we wanted to create a tool where project owners could easily create their own CLI tools that weren't necessarily branded as being an NX workspace. So we've now added to the NX plugin package a new create package generator. This will allow you to use the same RIT CLI tooling that NX provides, but now rather than running the command npx create NX workspace Dash, dash preset equals quick and X, you can now rename that to be whatever you want. For example, npx create quick app. I'm super excited for this feature, especially. I've been pretty vocal in the past about how much I love the NX generator API. And I really hope we see some of these projects really use this tool without the NX branding getting in the way. 
Next up, we added a new input type called external dependencies that you can use to specify a set list of external dependencies that should factor into the inputs for a specific task's hashing. By default, NX has always taken a defensive stance here to always include all of your packages when determining the hash for running a command. This new input type allows us to further granularize our hashing so that the NX caching is as correct as it can be. We've got a lot of inputs now, so be on the lookout for a video coming out soon explaining all the different input types and what they do. We also have a new lint rule called the NX dependency checks rule. You can turn this rule on via your eslintrc.json file at the root of your project. Once this rule is turned on, it will analyze your source code to determine any dependencies that you're using in this specific package. The lint rule will then error if you're missing any specific packages, have too many packages, or have the wrong version of a package included in your set of package JSON dependencies. Even better, this rule supports a dash dash fix option that will automatically fix any of these issues for you. We've also continued to push NX's performance. In NX 16.3, we moved task hashing into the NX daemon. And in 16.4, we moved to a Rust-based watcher to further improve our performance. The result is that our benchmarks improved from 276 milliseconds per command in October of 22 to now 149 milliseconds per command, which nearly doubled our speed. And these benchmarks are entirely open and reproducible. You can check out the link to the repo inside of the description below. Up next, NX Console got a new coat of paint for both the VS Code and IntelliJ versions. As part of the redesign, we also moved all the web views inside of the plugins to the Lit framework. We did a video and an article on this. If you haven't caught those yet, you can check out the links in the description below. And last but absolutely not least, there's a new NX change log on our nx.dev website. The change log highlights especially deprecations across major versions, and it's also going to highlight some of the content that we came out around features for the specific versions. Up Updates for the major versions are also going to include any breaking changes that were included with that major version. This is also linked to our GitHub releases where you can click to any link and see the full change log in detail for all of the features, bugs, and breaking changes that were included in that release. You can find the change log at nx.dev slash reference slash change log. I'll also make sure to throw a link in the description below. Whew. That's it, y'all. All the major features we released for NX between NX 16.0 and 16.5. Throw your favorite features in the comments. Let us know any questions or concerns you have. Keep working hard. We're here working hard right alongside y'all. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.